All right, man, talk to talk. Talk to talk, six o'clock show, six o'clock show. All right, look, man, so we got to talk about it. Little Dirk. It's very sad, but can't really feel too bad because some of these guys do it to themselves. I'm sorry to say it, but um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to watch this little clip of uh charleston white actually talking about it and um yeah before i get into that you know i gotta get my spill this is torture talk if you like the content please consider subscribing if you're new here let me work for your subscription today all the beautiful sexy ladies put one in the chat all the fellas y'all know where to find the ones at just don't harass them i don't sell no merch but i do have content absolutely free but if you want to leave a donation links on the screen cash at paypal's in the description they called me the Hidden Gym. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. And now, 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 let me know where you're from. <laughs> All right, so look, man, we're going to get to it. Let's do it. All right, so let's get it. This comes courtesy of Never Give Up. So make sure y'all go follow him. Let's go. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. Chicago's biggest op, Charleston White, is out here celebrating Little Dirk getting arrested for murder for hire. Man, check this out. Let me find me a good Little Dirk song to play. <laughs> Let me find me a good morning, boy and girl. <laughs> they trying to keep me down. No, they ain't. You know you had put that hit out on that boy, so you've been trying to avoid karma. They say karma is real. I say it ain't real. I say the, I say you reap what you sow. They say that's karma. Ain't nobody laughing at dirt like they were laughing at me when I went to jail. I <laughs> know what I'm <laughs> So ain't nobody laughing at dirt. Now it ain't funny. Now your favorite rapper go to jail and look like he got a no bun like me. <laughs> How's this guy driving and eating with no... Is he driving a Tesla? Is that a Tesla? That might be a Tesla. How's he driving and eating? That, that's got to be a Tesla. Let me see. I know this ain't got nothing to do with anything, but... Is this a Tesla? I think this is a Tesla. That's why he's eating and driving. Let me look at the seats. And he ain't got a seatbelt on. He got a seatbelt on behind him. It might be a Tesla. Either way, um, I can't say that uh, I would have made this personal about myself. I mean, but, I mean, you putting hits out on people, bro. What do you think is going to happen to you? I mean, let's be clear here. All you all you dudes, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. That's just how it goes. I can't say I don't feel no remorse for a lot of these people who do these things because I feel for their families. But at the same time, I mean, a lot of y'all, y'all bring this on yourself. And let's just, let's just be honest. Y'all bring this on yourself. Y'all know right from wrong. Y'all still continue to go down this path. I'm not one of those people that don't think that we can't break a generational curse. Because I think we can. I just think a lot of y'all don't want to. A lot of y'all like doing bullshit. A lot of y'all like uh, uh, killing people and shooting up places. Y'all like it. I think a lot of y'all get, it's like a thrill, a rush to y'all. I don't understand why, but that's what it is. But that boy got a federal note on. Ooh, I bet that nigga ass hold and closed up. He got a burp to pass that. <laughs> he can't even fart out his ass. I know, I know the feeling. Boy, they get your ass and they put a hole on you. One nigga booty be tight and the motherfucker sitting on that bench. <laughs> Hey, hey, man. Now, all y'all who said my time coming for saying King Von, saying fuck King Von, all oh, his time coming, they go get him. 
Drake time came for saying fuck Tuka? Or is this his common? I, I don't know. Y'all be so hypocritical when it comes to your favorite rappers. I don't even know. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, boys and girls. Say, let's make fun of dirt like y'all made fun of me. Especially when y'all thought I got slapped. Look like that boy has in trouble. <laughs> Salute the little Tim. Um, the demons stay up. I bet he going to PC. Them California niggas gonna try to extort it. One thing we know about California, the Crips and Bloods rule. GD, BD, on phone them, they ain't got no say so nowhere. <laughs> but when they write a letter to somebody. But in the California prison system, Cuz and Blood run everything. And Pyru, that GD, BD, uh, phone them, mm -mm, it's gonna be hard on his ass. Cause they gonna be trying to extort him. That's a fact. That's a fact. I mean, again, man, what do you do in situations like this? Where are, you know what? I'm going to stop saying where the parents at. Every one of you niggas know whatever you doing is wrong. I'm going to stop saying that you need guidance, you got the internet. Every one of you dudes don't need guidance because you have examples. People already came before you, did what you did, and they got locked up or killed. I'm not saying, where are your parents? Why the fathers are not there? Why the mothers are not there. I'm not saying that no more. Because every one of you niggas know right from wrong. You know the laws inside out. The, the time for us to keep putting the blame on people is over. I'm not doing that no more. I'm not. I know he got money. He might have to pay for a little protection. You know what? He might be all right. Cause he joined Asalaamu Alaikum. One thing about it, Asalaamu Alaikum, they look out for each other. <laughs> say, say, boy, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Boy, I'm riding through Oak Cliff right now. Boy, it's a beautiful, I'm finna ride by where Mo3 got killed at here in a minute. All right, so it looked like Charleston is still a little upset that people were laughing when he recently got arrested. I mean, I, I guess, I guess you could say that, but I don't, I don't, I'm not looking at, I'm not, the thing is, I'm not looking at what Charleston, Charleston White is saying straight up. I'm looking at what he's saying around what he's saying, because around what he's saying is actually the most important part. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are glorifying a lot of these things. And this is the reason why a lot of these young men, they keep doing what they're doing. And I'm not blaming y'all. I'm blaming them. But I'm also saying y'all contribute to that. See, a lot of these young men, they want to be the biggest gangster. They want to be the biggest. They want to catch the biggest ops. They want This is what they want. They want to catch 12, 13, 14 bodies. Because in their head, that's justification for being a gangster. That's what they need to be, to be a gangster in their head. The funny thing about Lil Dirt is I'm not, I don't know Lil Dirt. I don't know whether what whatever he did, whatever. Obviously, he's into that type of stuff. But the funny thing about him is they were saying that he was trying to spread peace. But I don't know exactly when this when this whole thing happened. But I think that it happened two years in twenty twenty two. This is when this happened. And it all led up to today or yesterday. And 
the feds been watching, not the feds, whoever been, the U.S. Marshals or whoever been investigating him, following him around, watching him. So it all caught up to him. Some people were saying maybe he did this because he knew it was coming. He wanted to spread some peace or whatever. But you put a hit out on the dude, bro. And the crazy thing is you went from, not you, I don't know if it was you, but somebody. They said, I guess, I guess, I don't know. They said somebody went from Florida to Cali to provide guns. The dudes that did the, the job, they went from Chicago to Cali. And now they got you for murder for hire. And I'm also hearing that it's in Cali, they can get you on a death penalty. I believe that that's, they could do that. I believe they can. I'm not sure about Cali. Certain states, they could do that, but I think they can. And it's crazy to me that you dudes are so young and y'all so smart when it comes to certain things, but y'all so dumb when it comes to the streets. It's like y'all can't leave it alone. It's like the streets got y'all so obsessed with being real and being a certain thing being in a certain space in your head that you believe that you should be doing these things. It's, it got y'all hypnotized to the point where y'all think that y'all doing the right thing. Even though y'all know y'all doing the wrong thing. And y'all continuously do it. And people say, well, it, it, it has to be something wrong. I agree. But that's no excuse. Because just how, just, and I know this is going to sound kind of crazy for me to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. If you can figure out how to sign up for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, your bank account, if you could figure out how to do all these things, buy a plane ticket, uh, anything you could think of. You can figure out not to kill somebody. That's just that. And I know people are going to say, that's crazy for you to say that. How can you say that? None of these dudes are stupid. None of them are stupid. They're not dumb. They're not dumb. A lot of them are very intelligent. But they choose to be street smart instead of book smart. So let's see what never got to say. But, you know, Charleston is out here antagonizing folks, all right? Now, I know Charleston says he's playing a character and he's doing this to show all of the gang violence and hip-hop is wrong and I'm trying to call him out. But at the same time, he can't get upset when people meet him with the same energy. And now Charleston White is running around looking like a rapper. All of the jury, all of the chains and stuff like that. He came out speaking against rappers. Now he dressing like a rapper and looking like a rapper. Now he That's an excuse. You reaching with that. You reaching with that. Not all rappers wear jewelry. That's number one. That's a stereotype. Not all rappers wear jewelry. You know what I'm saying? There are kings that wear jewelry. There's queens that wear jewelry. There's regular black people who wear jewelry. Just because he spoke against the rappers, that don't mean that he can't wear jewelry. That doesn't make sense. Jewelry doesn't always correlate to rappers. It's like, the way you making it seem is like rappers have a costume. Like that doesn't make sense. A lot of rappers don't wear jewelry. You know what I'm saying? Now, as far as Charleston White goes, I commend Charleston White for some of the stuff that he do. Uh, I don't agree with everything he says. 
You know what I'm saying? But I commend him on a lot of things he do when it comes to speaking out against violence. I think it should be called out. I know a lot of y'all don't like to hear that, but who else is going to do it? Everybody want to take the nice way out, but these dudes are steady killing each other. So we should take the nice way out of everything? Why these dudes are steady killing each other? That doesn't make sense. I just don't see how people want to take the nice way when dudes are really out here killing each other. Got a fresh edge up, a fresh lineup. He got fat diamonds in his ear. He got a pinky ring, an index ring. He got about seven chains on. That boy started getting that money. He threw that positive shit out the window. You know, he only positive when he do those YouTube interviews and then he trying to, you know, get into his intellectual bag and speak like he got some sense. That, what you just said totally contradicted itself. You literally just said he's on, he's not positive. He's only positive. <laughs> Either he's positive or he ain't positive. You just said he's not positive, then, then followed up by saying He's only positive win. <laughs> it's just like, come on, bro. But I'm in the video there. Yeah, man. So I know a lot. I, I understand why a lot of people don't like Charleston White. It's because a lot of times Charleston White, when to hit you with, he hit people with the ugly truth. Not to say that everything he says is true, but his opinion is very, very, very dangerous to people, uh, uh, their way of life, I should say. And he make you think about things that should be thought about. Now, there's things I don't agree with him on. You know what I'm saying? I don't agree with him on a lot of things. And when people say he's playing a character, I would rather him play a character and tell things that are, that are, that's the ugly truth to certain people or him playing a character and be lying about it. I just, that's just how I feel. I mean, not to say that he says everything correct, because sometimes he'd be way off. But there are times when he speaks facts and he brings his numbers to back it up. And a lot of people, y'all don't have anything, no numbers to debate him. Y'all just basically say, y'all don't like him. That's it. And it's understandable if you don't like somebody that you disagree with. I understand. You know what I mean? But me, I like people I disagree with, to be honest with you, because I want to hear more and I want to hear more about them. That's just how I am. Now, as far as Lil Dirt goes, I mean, you read what you sow, man. I mean, I can't even sit here. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I can't sit here and tell y'all I feel bad for any of these dudes. I really don't. I can't feel bad for any of these dudes. If you're a killer, I'm not feeling bad for you. If you're a set up people getting killed, I'm not feeling bad for you. You taking people's lives on either side, whether it's you on that side or you on that side. I don't feel bad for you because I think that you know right from wrong. You know when you shouldn't do something, can't do something, when you should do something. No. And I understand what people keep saying. Oh, well, it's the way of life and and you got to understand their environment. No, listen, bro, I'm from the hood. I'm from the hood hood. And I got out. Brought me a house. Got two cars. I made a way. And I'm from the hood hood. You can't tell me. I was ganged up too. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell me that you can't get out of that life. Because you can. Dudes, a good portion of them want to live that life. They can't even, they glorify it. They can't even think about doing something else. That's why every time something happens, they're always screaming where they're from. Even if they get out of the situation, this dude, Dirk, got all his dudes out of the situation. And what happened? He's about now he's in prison. You was out. <laughs> you was out. Y'all was out. You right back in prison. You right in prison. All y'all was out. Every one of you dudes that was, that was in it, y'all were out of it. And y'all chose to stay in it. There's no excuses for that. So, all right, man. Y'all have yourself a good night. Love you guys. See y'all. Peace. Bye. <laughs>